Hacker Shore Original Oktoberfest Amber Marzen. I think they're in Munich, a bottle. This is 5.8% alcohol. Doesn't say the IBUs, but I've never ever had a Oktoberfest that was hoppy. Oktoberfest is actually in September, even though it says October. It used to be in October. Uh, ju just like the checkered label of it. I just think it's kind of cool. You can tell this is a bottle designed for America just because it's all in English and has a government warning and the refund, all that shit. The website says almost nothing about this beer. I'm just going to read in English because I don't know what this means. It looks like Marthy, Grace, and Ketamaran Barley varieties. Is that a brand? I've never heard of that. Hops are tradi Halitar Tradition and Hercules. Oktoberfest beers are obviously seasonal, mid-August, and they should be available through probably November. For being an Oktoberfest, I'm anticipating this to be malty. Whether it's light or heavy malty, hard to say, but that's what they usually are. The six pack of this cost me, I think it was $9, might have been $10. That said, I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Go, 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 go. Oh, look at that. That is a beauty. I'd say it's a deep golden, maybe a light amber color. Clear, no particles in it. Some sweet malt. Munich, Vienna, I'm not sure. And they may not even use those, although those two malts are common in Oktoberfest beers. It's so gentle on the nose. I think it's really nice. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and try it now. I've never had this beer before. A little thin on the mouth. Not watery, it kind of does a light coating on the roof of my mouth and on the tongue, and it's just slowly dying. The malt is very soft and gentle. I was expecting the malt to be more of a punch in the face. You're not going to be overwhelmed, but you're not going to be going, God, was there anything there? The second sip is a little more intense, but like 10%, not much. It's still sticking in the roof of my mouth, and, and some of it's on my tongue, but I'd say 80, 90 percent's on the roof of my mouth. Gentle, soft malt with a, with a, just a touch of sweetness. It's definitely malt forward without being in your face. Tingling of a candy to it. There's perhaps a touch of a grainy backbone in there. You get no dark roasted flavors at all out of this beer, and it's not hoppy at all. There's no other notes I can find in here, you know, no other bready or biscuity or like the dark roasted flavors, nothing like that that I can tell. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and drink out of the bottle now, see if that's the same. First impression out of the bottle, the malts are actually more noticeable, I'd say possibly 50%, mostly toppled on the tongue but it's more amplified. This isn't quite punch in the face, but it's getting closer to it. There is a lingering aftertaste, but it's the same as already in my mouth. It's those toffee, candy, malty notes. I think if you're looking for good, well-rounded, slightly malty backbone, a little sweet Oktoberfest, I think this is a great example of it. There are no off flavors I can tell at all. It's not sharp, no diacetyl, no fusel alcohols. This is a solid Oktoberfest. Will I buy it again? Oh yeah, I'll buy, I'll buy more of it. Will I recommend it? Yes. Show the bottle one more time. Hacker Shore original Oktoberfest at Munich, Germany. Okay, that's all I have for this review and I'm gonna finish my beer off and have something else. Cheers.